next. Leave your husband in the middle of the night. Great idea. Come back tomorrow around noonish. Bring Thai food. It'll be fun. George, you're my girl and everything, but you know the rule. Boys come first. You can have sex anytime. No, you can't. You don't understand. I'm really leaving him this time. I think. All right. Come in. Much too confused to be left alone on the street. Shh, homie. Look what I got. It's a Laker and I'm keeping it. You dump the clipper? This one can go to his left. <laughs> All right, so what do Walsh do this time? On our way home from Cabo, he confessed that he did one of his flight attendants on his crew. Candy with an eye. This is much too big to talk about here. Just leave my guests some instructions. Well, hello, Mr. Radical Extreme Man. Need to make a collect call? Use 1-800-CALL-ATT. It always costs less than 1-800-COLLECT. Just want to let Mom know I'm okay. Marge, Troy's okay. That's so I stand. It's speedy, it's easy, and you'll save some money. We've met a lot of thirsty people so far. Yeah, that nice lady mm. with the iced tea. Lemon iced tea. Mm. That quiet guy. Hey, how about Buddy Hackett? Wow, that's great. What do you call it? Valley Blast? <laughs> People just like you and me. Thirsty for Snapple. Yeah. I wish we could take them all home with us. Me too. To get your free Snapple, call 1-800-SNAPPLE. I used to take Tylenol for, like, everything. But I'm at my mother's house, and I get a headache. This is not a big surprise. And she has that green bottle of Excedrin. So I take the Excedrin. And you know what? It relieves headaches better than Tylenol. So now, I still take Tylenol for everything else, but for headaches, I take Excedrin. Just like Mom. How weird is that? Excedrin, the headache medicine. Hurry, girls, before Daddy gets up. Ooh, pretty. Hmm. Now, no more. These are Daddy's corn pops. Oh, look. Daddy's bowl is too full. The problem with a cereal that tastes like popcorn, only sweeter, mm. is that it disappears mm. like popcorn, only faster. Mommy, that's Daddy. We share. Hi, girls. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Now let's all go make him breakfast. Kellogg's Corn Pops. It's hard to stop when it's Pops. Hey, Space Cowboys. Do you need to make a collect call? Use 1-800-CALL-ATT. It always costs less than 1-800-COLLECT. Where are you? Where no dude's ever gone before, Dad. It's speedy, it's easy, and you'll save some money. Bailey's new friend is a real ladies' man. We can use the old signal. Next time on the door, fans are rocking. Don't bother knocking. Right? <laughs> Only this Wednesday. Don't even think about it, Julia. You're not as tight. He's making the moves. Whoa! On Bailey's sister. Whoa! Catch a brand new Party of Five, Wednesday after 90210. I'm on welfare. <laughs> Hamilton, I can't talk to you right now. I'm kind of in the middle of a crisis. You're in a crisis? My band is the opening act for the opening act for the opening act at the Viper Room tonight. George, you have to help me. <laughs> this is cool. My life looks so good on paper. Handsome husband. Italian synthetic hair. <laughs> Beautiful new house. Which I have never seen. You're the reason we had to move. That explosion was an accident. <laughs> I'm 
I'm the one who lost my eyebrows. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be like this. I gave that man my youth, my virginity. <coughs> you did not. <coughs> as far as he knows, I did. <laughs> oh, I know what's gonna make you feel better. Come here. Close your eyes. Da, 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 da. It's one of my paintings. Oh, it's the tree by the school that we used to go to. No. <laughs> it's called Irony of Life. This painting asks the question, how did the world get populated if Adam and Eve had two sons? <laughs> One killed the other one. First here, then the Museum of Modern Art. <laughs> oh, see, George, you've always known exactly what you wanted. I want some of that. Well, just eliminate what you do poorly, or what grosses you out, or what involves math. Then, <laughs> cut out. <laughs> Am I to understand it's Halloween where you two come from? <laughs> Hello, Margo, it's been a while. Let me guess. Marriage on the rocks? How? Be nice. She's having a bad day. Oh, Margo's having a bad day. Well, I've had three years of bad days trying to make this dive respectable. And you know the rules. You can't just sit in here looking like you just rolled out of bed. <laughs> Although I'm sure you just did. <laughs> Put on some lipstick, make your cheeks pink, curl your eyebrows or something. I should have known something was up when he remembered my birthday for the first time in seven years. He brought me flowers, a cake, a couple big old diamonds. That bastard. I should leave him. George, this is the part where you tell me that leaving is the right thing to do and that Wallace doesn't deserve me anyway. <laughs> Don't no comment me. Fine. If you would even consider going back to that man after he slept with an air waitress, then threw it up in your face while you're wearing some pinata, fine. I'm not going to say to you. But he is my husband. I mean, what about my vows? What about regular sex? <laughs> what about love? Love is for people who can't get dates. Margo, you are fabulous. You do not deserve a husband who did it with some honey roasted peanut push and play thing over Barrett. You know, I could have been a tramp too. Remember that time that Johnny Depp followed me around 7 Eleven? I could have had him right there at the slushy machine. You know, I'm show Wallace. I'm going to do the very next guy that walks in here. Love has entered the building. <laughs> Okay, the next guy. Okay, people, Margarita is back to serve your cocktail. Nelson, stop the floor show and get back to work. And stop calling yourself Margarita. Hey, every bartender needs a name to hang his purse on. <laughs> now, Bill down the street already claimed Charlie Temple. <laughs> and Virgin Mary didn't seem to suit my lifestyle. You take another 40-minute break. Unemployment will be your lifestyle. <laughs> All right, por favor. You can't fire me, old girl. These are my people. <laughs> Margo, what's the matter, baby? Fighting with your husband again? He's been cheating on her. Honey, you are much too worth a kid for that. <laughs> Margo! What, you got low jack in your pants? Your mom's here. <laughs> You, you are the reason this is happening. There's a trailer in hell with your name on it. <laughs> Don't miss the signs, Davis Wilson, Jefferson Ali. <laughs> You've been a bad influence on my daughter since the eighth grade. Beautiful. <laughs> Mom, leave George alone. She had nothing to do with this. Well, she has something to do with everything. She's the reason I spent six months at Betty Ford. <laughs> you were there two years. I went back a few times to visit friends. 
Why are you here? Because your darling sweet husband called me, crying his eyes out. So I went to George's and I woke up some Laker who was wearing nothing but a post-it. Oh, there goes my man. There goes my painting. Just have to finish it from memory. <laughs> I have the technology. <laughs> Sweetie, you just need a little time to get your thoughts together. Away from negative influences. Come on, baby. Mommy will take you home. I don't want to go. Look, if I decide to go back to Wallace, it'll be because that's what I have decided is best for me. Fine. I have an intervention to get back to. I left those alcoholics alone in my house to come deal with you. They're probably fighting over the cough syrup right now. <laughs> Out here. Well, hello. Oh my. Lance, what are you doing in the hall half naked? Who's your friend? She's not your type. She's married and drunk. All right. Well, she's half not your type. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Was awakened by scary white lady. Oh, hold on. There you go. You know what? This is where I belong. This dump feels like home. <laughs> Don't even start that living together crowd. We've become different people over the years. You do lunch, I serve it. I could be frying up chicken fingers in a hairnet. <laughs> but no, I went the easy route. I went from my mother's house to my husband's house. Now look where I am. <laughs> my house. <laughs> See, why can't I be selfish like you? <laughs> That's it, I have made up my mind. I am calling Wallace tomorrow and I'm telling him it's over. <laughs> You're going to call him? That's right. Oh, look, a phone. <laughs> Well, start pushing buttons. Oh, you think I won't? I know you won't. Watch my smoke and make me a sandwich. <laughs> Tell him a thing or two. I am not to be messed with. <laughs> Hello, Wallace? Oh, you know who this is. <laughs> Look, I just called... What? Oh, but you can't do that. I was calling to divorce you first. <laughs> Wallace says hi. Sit tight. We'll be right back. All across the nation, people are asking the same question. Where's Candace? I don't know what happened to her. All I did was show her how I count my dime. One minute, two minutes. It's Sprint's dime a minute thing, man. It's so totally popular, she's gone into hiding. Now comes news that Sprint's made it even better. Introducing 10 cents a minute, 24 hours a day, to the number you call the most. Well, that's great news, but will we ever see Candace again? Don't hold your breath. Call now for 10 cents a minute, 24 hours a day, to the number you call the most. I thought I knew the rules for better protection. The thicker the pad, the better. Boy, was I wrong. Always broke the rules, but they're always ultra-thin with wings. Compared to leaving thick maxis, Always Ultra Thin locks away three times the normal amount of moisture because Ultra Super Absorbent Core traps moisture better. So even though it's thin, Always Ultra can actually protect better than thick maxis. Can't call that anything but breakthrough. Always Ultra Thin with wings. Cleaner, drier, protects even better. More stab wounds like the sound of the cross. It kills women, wives who cheat on their husbands. I think she's on a religious mission. Here's the guy we're looking for. He's in New Orleans, and I'm gonna find him. Eric Roberts, Dark Angel, a Fox original movie, Tuesday at 8, 7 Central.
good time to introduce the new, more responsive Volvo 850 GLT. Drive safely. Locust be far behind. Please, he divorced you on the phone. He just wants you to think he's leaving you because he's afraid of you leaving him. He called your mother, big baby. <laughs> what the hell is that? That's just supermodel. Supermodel, supermodel? Yes. The one that's on the cover of my nerves. <laughs> the one you love to torture? It is not that I love to. I have to. Of course you do. She's 19. And gorgeous. <laughs> Tall. And rich. Skinny. Bulimic! <laughs> I'll just grab a teeny weeny bag, my lip leaf, and we're off to Milan. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> this I've got to see. You know what? Last night, the boa? Cute! <laughs> That's what I'm gonna name my new group. Boa. Isn't it good? Boa? Boa. But the other guys, they hated it, so I'm gonna start a new group with some other guys, but Boa is gonna be the name, definitely. It's just got levels, you know, like Boa Constrictor and Rocky Balboa. David Boa. Ah, I hate Supermodel and her techno. Green's a good color. Yeah. So, how you doing? My head hurts. You? Well, I really don't have that much money or anything, but I'm cool with that. <laughs> don't your parents own half the beachfront property? Technically, but, but you don't choose your parents. They don't represent me. I have a band. <laughs> Boa. Nobody touch the band. Hi. I'm Lance. We met last night. I was the guy in the towel. <laughs> Didn't you have more hair last night? <laughs> George, I need some coffee. Please, you just came by to check out Margo. Ah, I got her name. Excellent. <laughs> so did you tell her that I manage one of L.A.'s finest restaurants and that I can make her very, very happy? Not if you keep waxing your chest. <laughs> so you gonna hook me up? What am I, a pimp? Want to buy a painting? Talk about that. I don't understand what you paint. That's because you like death. And glamour. Yeah, that painting of the Phallus Parade is way over my head. <laughs> Phallus Parade? That'd be a good song. Phallus Parade. Phallus Parade. Out. Everybody, out. Out. Nice hat. <laughs> Off to Milano. <laughs> Off to Milano. <laughs> okay, girl, I'm out. Well, I guess I'll go home and take a shower. No, 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 no. You can take a bath right there. And you're in luck. I just took the dishes out the tub. <laughs> well, what about my hypoallergenic soap? Welcome to the real world, where we use samples from the mail. <laughs> but don't use this. It's non-dairy creamer. You know what? I just bought some Egyptian cotton towels. Guess what? The Bel Air Hotel has them, too. <laughs> oh, and when we get home, I promise, we can put on the fuzzy slippers from the Four Seasons. <laughs> George, I need to go home and get my stuff. Go get your stuff and your orgasm, I think not. <laughs> I've seen this movie. 
Wallace looks at you with those big eyes. Pretty soon, your panties around your ankle, your skirt's around your neck, and you're stupid again. <laughs> you can't go back there. That's where the Lord of Vermin lives. He won't even be there. Yeah, right. Okay, so I don't know if he'll be there or not. But if he is there, I'll ignore him. He hates that. <laughs> Fine. You must go. I'm driving. We're in, we're out. No sex with the ex. I thought you had to go to work. Do I feel a sick day coming on? <laughs> achoo, achoo. Oh, I am so sick. We can't find the hiding key. We should just break in. What? People break into houses all the time. Why do you think they got police? <laughs> the only way to bypass the alarm is through that window. anymore. No one can tell us we're wrong. Love is a battlefield. <laughs> Carvel, thank God you're alive. Get in here so I can kill you. <laughs> well, Miss Hines Davis will send. <laughs> okay, now stay low until I turn off the alarm. Okay. who hadn't had sex in years. First, he thought you were just frigid. Then he realized you were gay. <laughs> Is this your lover? <laughs> no, she's just my friend who happens to like men's clothes. <laughs> now, I'm not gay, you idiot. You're not. I can't believe what a tremendous liar he is. Oh, how could I have been so blind? Because you always see the good in people. Don't worry, I'll break you that. I wasted three months of my life with that man. <laughs> Try seven years. But you know what? You can have him because I am through with this whole fake life. You're a tired little man. I don't want to a plastic house with all this rent and crap. From now on, it's all about me. I just want control of my life. Right, George? <laughs> I don't need Wallace. I don't need anything. Oh, that's these shoes. Oh, and my antique silk robes. Oh, and my black pearls. <laughs> You're still here? Well, hell, I'm mad too. I want those cufflinks I gave Wallace. These cufflinks? Sure. Ha, <laughs> 
Uh, now, get your sweet little behind out of here or you're next. Can you fly, Candy? I mean, really fly? <laughs> Can you fly, Candy? I mean, really fly? <laughs> no, no, you were fabulous. Oh, I was, wasn't I? <laughs> you were truly fabulous. I'm proud of you. Me too. <laughs> but I am kind of scared. I mean, I haven't been on my own in a long time. Excuse me, you're not totally alone. <laughs> you're like family. Well, scratch that. I hate my family. <laughs> but with you here, we'd get twice as many boys. <laughs> Are you sure you won't get sick of me? Please. Surprised you're not sick of me. I'm no walk in the park, baby. <laughs> mm. But one thing. You do have to get a job. Mm, I hadn't thought about that. Well, I guess I could always go back to acting. I'm sure they still remember me at Baywatch. Yeah, how could they forget the dead girl who washed up on the beach? <laughs> hey, nobody played strangled and bloated better than I did. That was good. Hey, you might want to think about another way to get money. Well, after the way we cleaned up today, we're going to have one hell of a yard sale tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Need to make a collect call? Use 1-800-CALL-ATT. It always costs less than 1-800-COLLECT. Brian! <laughs> it's speedy, it's easy, and you'll save some money. Can you remember the way it used to feel When you believed in make-believe and fairy tales were real? It's the 25th anniversary of Walt Disney World. And right now, the most magical celebration ever begins at McDonald's, where you can sign up to be a part of it all and take home a piece of the magic with four 25th anniversary glasses. Bounty's at its best. It's the quilted quicker picker-upper. Bounty is quicker. It gets with this other towel left behind. Ordinary towels tear on carpets, even top-quality towels. But Bounty's stronger, more durable. The quilted quicker picker -upper. Quilted Bounty. Well, hello, Mr. Radical Extreme Man. Need to make a collect call? Use 1-800-CALL-ATT. It always costs less than 1-800-COLLECT. Just want to let Mom know I'm okay. It's speedy, it's easy, and you'll save some money. Millions of Americans suffer back pain in silence. Ah! Martin isn't one of them. Ah! A brand new Martin. Then, is Khadijah's business going down the drain? If anyone in this room doesn't have faith in me, feel free to pick up the phone and look for another job. Put down the damn phone! A brand new living single after Martin Thursday. Just a few seconds away now on Fox News Chicago, which is tonight's only news at 9 o'clock. School bus problems caused a shake-up at the Board of Education. We'll have a live report. Also, a presidential honor for Chicago's Joseph Cardinal Bernadine. And a wild night for Julia Roberts. Also, a look at what's available in the Neiman Marcus Christmas catalog. Those stories and more coming up next on Fox News Chicago. Hey, guys. Look at that empty feeling. We've got enough to fill up.